Welcome into the Towson Center Arena where the Towson Tigers were defeated by the Scarlet Knights by an overall score of 195.550 for Rutgers. And the Tigers put up their second highest team score of the year with a 194.60. I'm Zach Maskovich, joined alongside by my partner Tandy Knight. And Tandy, the Tigers put up their second best score of the season. And today they got a really strong performance on the floor from the, the whole team. Yeah, again, as we've been seeing all season here in the uh, Towson Center, very strong performance on floor. I'd love to see him put all four events yeah. together at one time at a home meet. And, you know, we have one more chance to do it this season, so I'm hoping to see it next Friday. All right, well, let's take a look at the highlights here from today's meet. It was the second to last meet ever here inside the Towson Center Arena for the Tigers gymnastics team, and they would get a strong performance from their upperclassmen here today. Starting out on the vault, though, it was a sophomore, Lydia Thompson, who comes up really big here, Tandy, and puts up a 9.85 overall. Yeah, she definitely had one of the better vaults for uh, Towson tonight. Uh, it was very clean, pretty good landing, uh, and it was a great, great vault. So after Lydia Thompson, it was the lone senior on this team, Brittany Russell, putting up a great score of a 9.875. Yeah. Again, the power of her vault is just uh, amazing, and a, a beautiful stuck landing on a, a blind landing is always great to see. Then the Tigers move to the uneven bars in the second routine. And again, we're looking at Lydia Thompson here as she puts up a 9.75 overall score, just what the Tigers needed heading into the second rotation. Yeah, and again, she's had a great meet all around, a very clean gymnast, um, and so she's really fun to watch. And you see a beautiful landing there from Lydia Thompson again. She gets a 9.750. And then Tandy heading into the meet, we found this very interesting, getting a chance to see Alexa Davis perform on the bars. First time we've gotten a chance to see it, and she did a beautiful job here today. She did. I, I'm, I was very surprised to see it. I didn't know she was a bar worker, and she did a wonderful job. So this is Alexa Davis again as she has come up big all meet long here for the Tigers. She competed in three of the four events. This one in the second rotation. Beautiful stuck landing there from Alexa, and she gets a 9.75 overall score there to help lead the Tigers to their second highest score. And then we moved over to the bounce beam, and right off the bat, it was Alexa Davis again, as this is one of her strong points, Tandy. We always see her perform beautifully on the beam. It is. She's so confident on the balance beam and has such great poise, and she is a great leadoff uh, routine to put. And she just sets the pace and the tone for the rest of the girls to go up and, and have that same confidence. As we've seen Davis get healthier, we've seen the Tigers perform better on the balance beam after struggling on this event throughout the beginning of the season. They have been strong here as we wind down the season and Alexa Davis gets a 9.725 to start the Tigers off on the balance beam and then we went over to the floor and it was the senior Brittany Russell coming up big yet again in her second to last meet here inside the Towson Center Arena. We saw a lot of power and a lot of great landings from the fun dances of Brittany Russell. Yes, her, her routine is just so much fun to watch. She not only is such a powerful gymnast in, in her tumbling, but her choreography matches her personality and she loves drawing in the crowd. She definitely does get the crowd going here inside the Towson Center Arena as it was pink day here as the Tigers helped raise awareness for breast cancer research. So the Tigers today come up short as they put up their second highest team score overall with a 194.60 and they fall by a little more than a point to Rutgers who puts up a 195.550. The next meet for the Tigers is next Friday night when they host George Washington, Westchester, and Southern Connecticut. That meet gets underway at 7 o'clock p.m. You can catch the meet right here on the Towson Sports Network or you can try to make it out here. Tickets still available at TowsonTigers.com or by calling 1-855-TU-TIGER for Tandy Knight. I'm Zach Maskich. That'll do it for the coverage from here inside the Towson Center.